What's up guys, Chris Craze here. So today's video series on our success series. That's what it is. Successful entrepreneurs and thinking about starting a business. We're diving deep into this series on the questions that you need to ask yourself in advance before you start something or if you just started, these are questions that are imperative that you should ask yourself and you should plan for. Now, we already talked about what are your motives for starting a business. We already talked about what your current responsibilities are for starting a business and what responsibilities are going to be offset by starting this new venture. So now let's talk in a little bit about are you prepared for potential failure? Don't ever expect to fail, but expect to fail, okay? Because they've always told you you don't want to fail. Well, guess what? Some of the most valuable lessons are learned from failures, okay? I've actually gotten so immersed in not failing, but in expecting a failure to happen that I've looked at the glass as half full and I've said, you know what? If that happens, I'm going to learn a very valuable lesson. Now, people always said you want to learn from failures. Just don't make them your own. Ty Lopez quoted one time uh, on one of the calls that we did recently that you don't always want to learn from your own failures. You want to learn from somebody else's. So if you get the point and the chance to ask somebody questions, what are the hardest parts? What were your failures? Things like that. Speaking of failures, which is the point of this video, the things that you want to make sure that you understand here is there are going to be failures. Are you prepared to deal with those failures? There's a ton of TV shows online that show how other people handle failures. Some people run away from them. They just can't deal with it. They don't want to deal with it and they just want to run away. Probably not the best way to do it. If you take a break and then come back to it, definitely a lot better. Running away doesn't make the failure go away. So other people will try to look past it and just not accept it at all and keep moving forward like nothing happened. Probably not the best way to deal with it either. You want to actually take time, look at the failure, see what made the failure happen. There's always reactions for actions, okay? So if you're looking at something and you go, well, why did this happen? And then you find out why. Well, why did that happen? They talk about the five why rule. This could apply here. You wanna find out why something failed. Get into it and find out why. But not to take away from the actual video and expecting the failures. Businesses will fail. If you know this in advance and you can expect the worst. Some of my attorneys have always gave me great advice. Of course, they're attorneys, why not, right? But some of the best advice they've given me is expect the worst so that when the best happens, well, then the worst didn't happen. So that's the one thing that you wanna make sure of is are you prepared for potential failures? When you're looking at starting a business, write down a list of what your potential failures could be. And don't always think about it as just as the business. Look at it as what are my potential failures? And of course, not me, but you watching. What are your potential failures gonna be? Look at things that you've done in the past. Do you start projects and you don't finish all the projects that you start? That could be a potential failure in the future. This new business venture is a project. Are you gonna stop it halfway through and not finish it? That could be a potential failure or a potholes, they say. So you wanna make sure that you write that down. Be honest with yourself. What are some other things? If you're working as a team, probably a lot harder. Have you worked in a team dynamic before? Have you worked with these people before? Do you know what they are capable of? The first thing I will say about teams is do not have a ton of expectations. If you have expectations and you expect somebody to be working on those expectations and they don't know that you have those expectations in the first place, that could be problematic. That's part of team dynamic and that's part of working well with a team. So you wanna make sure that you look at all these things in advance. Enough on the failures now. Part four of this series is, am I ready for full commitment? We're talked about, we're, we're talked, we've talked about failures. We've talked about displacing uh, and some of your responsibilities are gonna be displaced because of this, like I've already said. So what are your commitments going to be? That's on the next video. Thank you for watching.